Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brian Chanae, and today I'm going to be doing the bookshelf tag. So stay tuned. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. All right, so we're back. So let's go ahead and get to the questions as far as the bookshelf tag. So, um, and also, by the way, if you hear my son and my daughter, it's because they're playing. <laughs> But anyway, the first question is, is how many bookshelves do you have? Um, I just have one bookshelf, which is right behind me. The second question is, is how many books are on your bookshelves or how many books you think you have? Okay, so I'm gonna let you know, I do have more books than this, but they're in totes, so they're not counted. So I'm, I only counted the books that are on my bookshelf, literally. So I have 87 books on this bookshelf alone. And so the third question would be, how do you organize your books? <laughs> well, let's just put it, I'll be really quaint with you. I don't organize my books. I just put them on a bookshelf and that pretty much makes them look organized. So I don't really have a way of organizing my books and my bookshelf is not really all, all that organized anyway, but it looks nice how the books are lined up. So that's the best organization you're gonna get from me. <laughs> and the fourth question is, what is the oldest book on your bookshelf? So the oldest book on my bookshelf is actually um, Americana uh, by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I really love this book. It, it, it made me cry in so many ways. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis for you because I do not want to give any spoilers. And sometimes when I talk about books, I tend to get to uh, being spoilery, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis for you. And it says, If Emilu and Obinza are young and in love when they depart military rule Nigeria for the West, Beautiful, self-assured, Efimlu heads for America, where despite her academic success, she is forced to grapple with what it means to be black for the first time. Quiet, thoughtful, and Benze had hoped to join her, but with post 9-11, America closed to him. He instead plunges into a dangerous, undocumented life in London. At once powerful and tender, Americana is a remarkable novel of race, love, and identity by the award-winning writer Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And so this is really a good book. I really recommend this to everyone, especially what has been happening in booktube, especially diversity and people not knowing the reality of people of color and what they have to go through on a regular basis. I think you should definitely read this up and I would recommend this if you want to have a little bit more of education and educate yourself um, on what um, people of color go through on a regular basis and this is the oldest book that is on my bookshelf and the fifth question is what is the newest book on your bookshelf well i have two um books that are new and they were from the recent um october outcrate uh box and that is pride by um Ibby's a boy which is this is the exclusive cover and then i have shadow of the fox by uh julie kagawa which is this is also another exclusive cover and they're both signed so these are the two newest books that i have on my bookshelf what is the, the sixth question is, what is the longest book on your bookshelf? And my longest one, I didn't feel like getting it because it's, yeah. So the longest book that I have on my bookshelf is actually Winter by Marissa Meyer. It's um, 100, not 100, but 890 pages, I believe. It was, And it's uh, Winter from the Lunar Chronicles. And I think everybody knows how chunky that book really is. But yes, that is the longest book on my bookshelf so far. And then the seventh question is, what is the shortest book on your bookshelf? My shortest book on the bookshelf is this one. Look at it. <laughs> and it is um, We Should All Be Feminists by Chimanda Nagazi Adichie. This is a great book. Really, really great, especially when, when it comes to feminism. And let me go ahead and read the synopsis for you. Oh, this is also a book that I read for Booktubeathon this year. And it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And it was short and sweet to the point, and it literally is only 48 pages, and it was really good for what I read. And let me give you a synopsis. It says, what does feminism mean today? In this personal, eloquently argued essay adapted from her much admired uh, TD, TDX uh, talk of the same name, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, award-winning author of Americana, offers readers a unique definition of feminism for the for the 21st century, one rooted in inclusion and awareness, drawing intensively on her own experiences and her deep understanding of the often masked realities of sexual politics. Here is one remarkable author's exp exploration of what it means to be a woman now and, and of the moment rallying cry for why we should all be feminists. So 
if you want to read Americana, you should also read We Should All Be Feminists because they are both good and amazing. This gives you a perspective from being a person of color and what we go through on a regular basis. This gives you a perspective of being a woman now, today. So that's why it says We Should All Be Feminists. So definitely check both these books out if you want to. The next question is, um, what is the pre predominant uh, genre on your bookshelf? Of course, it's young adult, but it's mostly a uh, fantasy. <laughs> I love fantasy because it makes me it makes me want to step away from reality for a while. And that's why I really love fantasy, even though this was mostly contemporary. But I really enjoy fantasy. Like I said, it gives me away from reality and makes me just put my mind on pause when it comes to reality so definitely fantasy then the next question is um hmm, have you done a bookshelf tour no i do not i want to get a couple more bookshelves and if, and and fill those two bookshelves up before i do a book tour but who knows i might do one depending on if someone requests me to do a book tour um then i will so if you want me to do a book tour in the future then please let me know down below in the just you know in the comments if you would like me to do a book tour this one says go on a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with the number okay Let's see all right so i have 23 so that is the number that I got from the random generator. So let's go see on my bookshelf number 23. So here we go. Okay, so for the random generator number, I got 23. So let's go ahead and count and see which book that is number 23. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it is the hate you give. That is really, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's really ironic in its own way. But yeah, it's number 23. So here we go. And so then this is the lucky number 23, the book that was on my shelf, which the movie just came out literally for The Hate You Give, which this is by Andy Thomas, which I was able to meet her and got my book signed and personalized. And this book is amazing. It deals with a lot of issues as far as racism that is happening in America, even around, around the world in general. And for me, this book is really close close to my heart because there's been a lot of experiences based on the color of my skin I've been judged um, I have been followed in the store because people think I'm gonna steal something because of the color of my skin my fiance has been um, pulled over by a police officer because he fit a description of a person and it wasn't even a description of a car the person was driving it was just a description of what he looked like which he was he's black so that's what they went off of um, I also been um, but I also went to a predominantly white college and when I first got there and of course I was the only black person in my class because I was history major and they literally told me I did not belong there and I belonged at a community college and so this book is close to my heart because it talks about police brutality as well and I really feel like this is a strong book I know others may disagree but I like it um, from the message that is that is saying it's saying that we as people of color African Americans they we have a voice we're not going to shut up we're done with that we've we've set aside so many times keeping our mouths shut literally like zipped and let things happen to us even when it's most brutal and cruel thing possible, especially people's words are cruel and brutal. And so with this, this saying that no more, that's enough. We're not going to sit there and let you just abuse us with your words and abuse us mentally and physically. It's not going to happen. So this is a great book. I recommend this book and I definitely, have, I definitely am going to see the movie. I wish I could have seen it already, but I've been so busy. But I'm definitely going to be seeing it sometime this weekend. But yes, I love this book that you give and yeah so this book is very very close to my heart the next question is do you have fan merch or any other decorations on your uh, bookshelf and yes I do I have a lot of bookmarks I have a lot of um, coffee mugs and mugs in general from book boxes that I have purchased in the past 
um, my Funko Pops, which I love. I started collecting them and I think they're cute and they look nice on my bookshelf. Um, I do have keychains as well. Um, I have tumblers. Um, I said bookmarks and I also have art prints. And that's mostly what's on my bookshelves. And the 12th question is, show us your bookshelf. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna show you my bookshelf, you guys. <laughs> So starting at the top of my bookshelf, look at it. It looks a hot mess, I know, but yeah. But this is my pop collection up, up above. So you can see that I have a few up there that I love. I'm trying to collect all of the Black Panther Funko Pops. So yeah, so you have that. Then you have Hermione. And then here we go right here. So from up here, we have, as you can see, some of my Funko Pops, my books, all the books I love. There's some that I haven't read yet, but majority I have read on this shelf particularly. You got some tea and stuff right there some from some book boxes. We got candles as well, a tea strainer, some more Funko Pops, you know, Black Panther, you know, Killmonger, Sasha. My little lights, which I need to put batteries in, which I haven't done that yet. So that's my first bookshelf. And this is my pin collection, which I got up here with my iPad. So yeah, I should probably put this somewhere else. <laughs> but here is my pin collection that I started. So yeah, it's not a lot, but it's something, right? Then I have... Um, from Nick Stone she had something exclusive from her book Dear Martin and I was able to get this which is this notebook that says Dear Martin and it has a black hoodie which I thought that was pretty cool and then let's go ahead and a notepad as well which is the Hunger Games notepad right there as you can see with the symbol right there then the next shelf have a mug and we have Alyssa J's uh, designs jewelry right there which I love her um, we got a trading card from one of the book boxes eco from the Lunar Chronicles and as you can see this is pretty much well this right here down is Marissa Myers uh, section and then we have a lot of my bookmarks right here that I've been collecting keychains are in there everything's in there um, here's my keychains Maleficent um, we got Niffler from the Fantastic Beasts, tea strainer, um, some tabs for when I annotate. Um, I also have a pen. This is from Alcrate. Then we have Luna. She's a Ravenclaw. I'm a Ravenclaw, so it works. So I got her. Um, another keychain. This is Jon Snow from Game of Thrones, which I'm loving. And I still can't believe I have to wait till next year to finish up everything. But yep, yeah, Jon Snow. We got Eleven. Moana, another keychain with Pocahontas. And then I'll look at all my books. Moana. Then you got Maui. More books. And then you have book sleeves. And this is the sock, bookish socks that I got recently from Alcrate. So I just put that there because I don't want my daughter to take them because she will. There's my other shelf. <laughs> then my next shelf right here. I These are some more lights, but oops, but I haven't put batteries in them. <laughs> this is another tumbler, which is from another box I got and it has jewelry, soap, everything that I got from a book box. Um, here's more... Um, books here of course you already know i read both these books and they were phenomenal from lady by lady taylor more books and of course i'm a twilight lover so that's why you see twilight um there's a book right there it's arc that i haven't read yet and then this is my art print that i have and that's from lifelike which by jay christoph which i have not read yet which i should get onto it but i'm always adding more books to my tbr and more than i should <laughs> Okay, the last bookshelf is this right here. Um, this is my notebook to keep up with the books that I read, bought, everything. Um, these are all the books that I have. I read, 
these two but I haven't I read these two but I haven't read the last book which I plan on doing so read both these books by Mackenzie Lee beautiful they were amazing also this was on a live show that I recently did um, with um you know the happy booktuber and bros before pro or pros before bro bros then you have Harry Potter which I started reading and I have to read this before the month is out so I'll probably be reading this Saturday Mirage Rule not even bones never night which I haven't read due to the fact that I couldn't read through it just couldn't do it and then you have that and then you have this from Alcrate which this is a quote from I think from one of Holly Black's books I'm not sure I haven't read any Holly Black books I know don't judge <laughs> and then at the bottom these are all the book boxes that I purchased you know got second star books Unicorn Crate, Shelf Love Crate, Owl Crate. Then here's more on the side. Owl Crate, Fay Crate, Universe Bound Box, which I'm a rep for, which you'll see in my description of discount if you want to check them out. More Owl Crate, Beacon Box, and more Owl Crate. But yeah, so that is my bookshelf, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> really do. But yeah so that's my bookshelf you guys so i hope you enjoyed my bookshelf semi tour i guess and i hope you love my vid this video that i did i really did want to do something different to show you exactly my bookshelf which you don't really see all of it you only see partial of it so yeah but if you love this video please give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you'll be notified when i upload more videos in the future um also give me some comments down below what you think or about the books or is there a certain book that you think i should recommend to you about something or anything but i just like to have conversation but thank you so much once again and yeah so just hit me up on twitter instagram all my social media will be down below as well so you can always hit me up message me whatever i will respond i promise but thank you so much you guys see ya